Greetings, Benjamin J from Ben's Trains with another in the series. Well, a follow up on that Lionel General Redwood Valley Express that arrived today. Now, I did the unboxing and it's a complete set except for the caboose. The caboose was missing. But as you see, I have a caboose that matches it exactly, so it uh, is a good enough replacement. Anyway, I found this on eBay for 40 bucks and uh, made the guy an offer, of course, and he accepted it. It was a DC locomotive. Nobody wanted it. It was on there for, uh, I don't know, quite a while. Anyway, I contacted the guy, and uh, a few hours before the uh, sale expired, he finally uh, accepted my offer. Anyway, 40 bucks for the entire set. But as you saw, when I unboxed it, it was damaged. The dome was broken off, and... Uh, I mean, not terribly damaged, but it was inexcusable. It was just bad packing. Anyway, I contacted the guy and told him that I was leaving him negative feedback. And he contacted me and he said, I've just refunded your money. Keep the train. So it was free. Now, my birthday is the 21st of July. So I'm going to consider this a birthday gift. Anyway, it is a complete set. I had to replace the caboose. And... Uh, I took it into the uh, bench and uh, epoxied the dome back on, got everything straightened out that was uh, damaged in shipping. I have not uh, put the handrail back on yet. And uh, took it apart and installed that rectifier. Now, interestingly enough, this locomotive, there was a spot in front of that motor where I mounted that other rectifier. It just drops into a slot, basically. Anyway, in this locomotive, there was a steel weight in that slot so obviously that's what the slot was for was to add traction and they just uh, put a uh, rectangular piece of steel just dropped it into that slot anyway I took it out and uh, used that slot to uh, mount the rectifier like I said I tested this on the bench this is going to be its first trip around the rail so the Lionel General Redwood Valley Express the complete set uh, like I said I made the guy an offer of 40 bucks he accepted it it arrived damaged, I complained, he refunded my money and told me to keep it. So anyway, let's turn the power on. Let's see how this goes. The Lionel General Redwood Valley Express, first trip around the rail, running on AC. There's 50% power. That is running just absolutely splendidly. Look at that. Now that is an interesting consist, I have to admit. Interesting colors and uh, interesting combination of cars. Obviously it's all logging. All right, turn it down, there's 40% power. And you see that locomotive is just purring. No chatter, no buzz running really really well all right let's slow this down and see how slow we can run it let's see if it'll maintain this speed all the way around like i said it's an interesting combination of colors brown and yellow so as you see that locomotive is running just absolutely perfectly All right, let's turn it back up. So there's about 30% power. Wow, this is running really well. All right, here's 40% power. And let's take it back up to 50%. So there's straight up 50% power on rail one running on AC. So as you see, that is running just absolutely perfectly. That is a nice looking train. And it was free. Hard to beat free. So, in any case, this is running just absolutely splendidly. So it's first trip around the rail. I just got the rectifier installed. Like I said, I dropped it into the slot, just like I did on that red general. So now I have 
two Lionel Generals. And as you can see, there's a tremendous difference between these two locomotives. Well, not being uh, tremendous, I guess, but uh, the stack is completely different. And this one is missing its headlight. This one is a square. This one has a uh, tubular headlight, and I'm just looking for a way to see if I can uh, actually put a light in that. Because this just slides into a slot, as you can see. So I should be able to pull that lens out of there, put a grain of wheat bulb in it, uh, drill a small hole, run it down to the uh, motor, and I'll have a working headlight. And uh, then when I get the headlight for this one, I'll probably do exactly the same thing. So two Lionel Generals. This was 40 bucks for the locomotive and the tender. This was 40 bucks for the entire set, minus its uh, caboose. And uh, when I complained about the damage in shipping, the guy refunded my money, including the shipping, and told me to keep the train. Now, like I said, it's hard to beat free, especially in something in this condition. This looks new, as you can see. Let's take it around again. Now, it only runs forward, but as you can see, that is running really, really well. And it looks virtually new. That's running just splendidly. So it was unfortunate that it was damaged, but as you see, I've got it repaired, no doubt. That is a really, really interesting set, I have to uh, confess. Like I said, striking uh, colors, yellow on brown. And like I said, it's a logging set, of course. With a dump car and a really interesting crane. So anyway, just a quick follow-up video on this. We'll be running this the rest of the day. So uh, go ahead and run this one around as well. So two Lionel Generals. I never actually thought I would own one of them because I would never spend the amount of money it takes to buy one of these things. And then when I saw the DC locomotives, that they were a third of the cost, and they stay on eBay for quite a while because nobody wants them. I mean, it says, uh, if you read the directions on the box, will not run on a standard AC layout. They came with a DC transformer or a battery pack with a variable speed control on it that took D-cell batteries to run these. But as you see, these DC locomotives, they're cheap, and in 10 minutes, you can have them converted to AC. The rectifier costs three bucks. So, I'm rather pleased with this locomotive. Stop that one over there, I think. All right, so, Redwood Valley Express. Now, I looked this up, and uh, like I said, it came with a uh, it looks like an HO uh, transformer, really small DC transformer. And uh, the directions say explicitly, do not attempt to run this on AC. Permanent damage will result. It'll just chew that motor to pieces trying to run this on AC. They are strictly DC motors and fairly high end because it took a rectifier to get it running well, a single diode. It ran, but uh, it chattered. It didn't like it. So a uh, full wave uh, rectifier, three bucks, drops directly into the slot in front of the motor and instant conversion to AC. And not only that, this entire consist was free. Happy birthday to me, no doubt about that. So it has a replacement caboose, but oh well. It is the original consist and uh, like I said, it, it arrived damaged, but as you can see, I've got it repaired and this thing's running just absolutely perfectly. So just a follow-up video. I'll be doing more on this. We'll be running it uh, the rest of the day. And who wouldn't? I mean, it's a nice train set. That's all you can say about it. And like I said, if you look at it, it looks just absolutely brand new. Except for whatever is missing off of that flat car. I'll have to look it up. Obviously, there was something on it. I just have no idea what. Could have been logs, I guess. 
So anyway, just a uh, quick follow-up video. Really interesting day and a great locomotive and a great train set and turned out to be free. Really difficult to beat that. So quick follow-up, the uh, rectifier is installed and this is running on standard AC just absolutely splendidly. So like I always say, don't overlook the DC locomotives. You know, I have three of these now and they were cheap. So anyway, I just want to do a quick follow-up on that uh, new Lionel General. So it's running, it looks nice, and it was free. So as always, if you have any questions, feel free to drop me an email, benstrains at gmail.com. And as always, thank you for watching.